Adding dates into Obsidian can be made easier with a plugin that allows you to push the at symbol, use the auto select to add the date in as a linked page, use the at symbol and then use natural language dates, so in seven days, or then put the date of seven days into the future in as a link, or you can use other natural language dates using next and then week, month, year, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so next Monday, and it puts the link in. If you go into the settings, go to the community plugins panel, you can click on browse and what you're looking for is the natural language dates plugin. Then when you click on options, you can go into the settings. You don't have to add the date as a link if you want it as normal text. So we can tick that one off. We can also get rid of the auto suggest and tick that one off. Now when I push the at symbol, I don't get the auto suggest. You can change the symbol if you want also in the settings. But just because I've disabled the auto select doesn't mean I can't use the natural language dates. If you go to the left sidebar and then go down to the command palette or use whatever hotkey you have set, then type in natural language dates and then we get different commands that we can use. So I'm going to use the date picker command. Now I can type out what I would have put after the at symbol, so in seven days. We get an example of how it's going to be displayed so you can add the hours and minutes afterwards. So that's the current time of me recording. If I remove the hours and minutes, you can see the display has changed. Now it's just going to be the date. I can insert the date or in this setting, I can add it as a link like we've done up here. But for this one, we're going to insert the date. And now I have a date in seven days that's just text, not a linked page that we can then create. Going back into the settings, I personally use the enable date also suggest. I also have date as links. I use the at symbol, but you can change whatever symbol you want to trigger the auto suggest. My week personally starts on a Monday, but you can change the week start date to whatever day of the week you want. And at the top, when you're using the auto suggest, you can change the date formatting, but I would highly suggest keeping it to the default format because this is the default format the daily template plugin uses. You can see in my core plugin settings section, I have the daily notes core plugin enabled. I don't have any folders or anything, but the default date layout is year, 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 month, month, day, day. I can then go to the left sidebar or use the hotkey and open today's daily note. If I then go back to the new file, go down to the bottom, use the at symbol, because that's the one that we have set, push today, enter. You can see it's now linked to the page, the daily note that the daily note template core plugin has just created. A more advanced use case of the natural language dates plugin is when you combine it with the quick add plugin. Going back to the community plugin settings, you can see I have the quick add plugin currently enabled and the natural language dates currently enabled. If I disable the natural language dates, open up my command palette and activate a quick add for a task that I've created. And it gives me a date input box that I've created through the quick add custom format. But if I was to type in in seven days and push enter or click on okay, it closes down the window and doesn't add the task that I want it to. However, if I enable the natural language dates, use the exact same quick add task, then type in in seven days, push enter. It then goes to the next input box, which is the task name, test task, enter. And now it's added in a task in my daily note at the top that says test task and has the date already in there. The configuration of this quick add task is fairly simple and I've just added in some custom formatting to get the task queue boxes and the date queue box to come up, but I do go in more detail in the video that I'll link probably above my face. And this is a shorter video included in my extended brain course that goes into more detail and nuanced use cases inside of Obsidian, documenting all of the different things that you can use, plus some other tools that I use on top of Obsidian and all that information will be linked in the description below.